Aquarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading for mid-August 2021. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings. So they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Aquarius. What's going on? <clears throat> For mid August, really cool stuff. Really cool. So the overall energy for the reading, the Three of Cups. This could talk about a reconciliation. Doesn't have to be that. It can be a completely new person that you've never met at least in this lifetime, because I do sense a soul recognition here and a lot of love. Um, we'll see. In the uh, starting off your reading, you get the full cross by the Six of Cups. That's the soul connection that I um, that came forward, basically. And I do see you wanting to take a chance on it, wanting to go all in. Uh, your focus. It feels like you're in love. It feels like you're just jumping into this and it feels so good and so soothing and so loving. That's your focus, basically. In the recent past, the Hermit, a lot of healing, a lot of gone within and, you know, taking care of self stuff, basically. In your strength, Three of Wands, patience is on your side. So I feel like you're uh having that available for the situation maybe things are not running as fast as you would want or whatever the case but i feel like you're you're waiting and you're kind of let's just say it's not pissing you off by the looks of it it falls into place here in the immediate future the ace of pentacles brand new beginning supporting this reading you're learning through all of this so it's not just an experience of oh i'm so in love and i'm not gonna look at anything anymore and i'm not gonna learn anything anymore because i just want to live this and that's that no it's an experience that you're learning from so you're not looking at this just as let me feel this and that's it let me just feel the intensity of this and that's all there is to it you're also learning from the intensity of it, from this experience somehow, which is very cool. Uh, the energy that's surrounding you, and you may not be aware of it, the Six of Wands, you feel very successful. You feel very proud, I would say, of your achievements so far, of even the fact that you're able to take this experience as something to learn from, you know? That in, that in itself is pretty big, because a lot of people just get caught up in that wave, which is perfectly fine there's nothing wrong with it it's you know it's love who the hell wouldn't want love in their life and when it comes yeah screw everything but you know and then learn the lessons and that's where we kind of get lost and then we we're a little late to that game of shoot where was i during all of this well in love you know um so it's, it's a very cool combo that you're experiencing here and your hopes and fears whatever happens will happen you can't control it it's that capability that strength to recognize that it's in your life you'll take it and whatever happens you can predict it you can't control it in the uh, potential outcome queen of cups remember in your um focus king of cups well now that's a power couple and a good one of love so let's uh let's clarify let me clarify the three of cups The Moon card, the Seven of Cups, the Queen of Cups again. You're being guided to this. Somehow you're being pulled to this connection. Um, of course, you can look at it as, no, this connection has been brought into my life because it goes both ways. You're being pulled towards it while it comes towards you. So it's, it feels like on your side, like there's a deep pull towards this connection. Um, and again, it could be somebody that you've already been with you know and it feels like renewed like oh my god this is something else this is new it feels different uh different good you know or it could be a completely new person but there is that soul recognition so even if they are new in the physical they're not quite new in the energetical aspect of things let me do the full The 
Six of Swords, the Chariot, the Five of Cups. Uh, you're a little phased off. You're, you're a little scared by this energy of, again, I feel that pull that you feel. And it's feeling strong and it's feeling like it might rush you. I feel like you don't want to rush this. Because there's a sense of, I might screw it up if I do. You know, even though it feels that way, the energy itself feels all riled up in a good direction you know but you're looking at the past and recognizing patterns where you may have rushed things and are like eh, i don't know i don't know i i wouldn't want to repeat that which is good recognition of patterns is good let's do the six of cups Whew, what is this i love this ace of cups king of cups nine of pentacles perfect Perfect, perfect, perfect. If there is such thing as perfect, this is it. Uh, love, brand new beginning in love. And it feels so goddamn good. And there is independence tied up to it. There's no, oh, I'm in love and now we're together forever. So I depend on you and you depend on me. No, I'm my own person. I want to share this uh, experience called life with you. This energy that I carry with you. And they're kind of on the same page there. So it, it creates this beautiful bubble of love. Where each of you are your own person basically. You know nobody's taken away from your independence. Or from theirs. Let's do the king of cups. At least that's how it feels. Seven of swords. Two of swords. Two of cups. You're a little bit scared. You're carrying a little bit of scare here, a little bit of fear around this. Because the love is definitely here. The desire to make this happen is definitely here. In between, you have all of these sorts energies, you know, of confusion, of I'm a little scared. I might pull away because it's too intense, too good to be true kind of thing. I don't see you pulling away, but you do carry some sort of fear here that confuses you along the way. Um <clears throat> That's your own fear that's coming to the surface. Doesn't have to interfere with this if you don't let it. Let's do the Hermit in the recent past. And you get the Hermit, the Temperance, the Ace of Pentacles. You've gone through a big ass transformation, a big ass change in your life that brought this beautiful new beginning for you. And things started to look different, new. Things started to feel different, new. Um, at some point and I feel like this is the perfect time for this connection to come in then you know when everything changed for you including you inside of you bam this comes in let's do the three of wands the nine of cups the six of wands the eight of cups you're scared again this fear shows up it's killing me because it feels so good and that's what I'm getting with this too good to be true kind of thing. You're not used to this energy, you know, where everything falls into place. Everything feels perfect. People have the tendency to sabotage themselves when this comes in. It's like, no, nah, it's how long is it going to last? How long you're going to want to go with it? Basically, you know, that's how long. Um, when you apply words like it's gonna end, blah, 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 blah. It will end it, you know, because we create that reality in which it is too good to be true. So just feel it, feel your way through this and live every second in front of you that you're dealing with. Don't put yourself in the future. Don't put yourself in the past with it. Let's do the Ace of Pentacles in the immediate future. Wow. Six of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. It's not only love here. There's definitely love underneath it all. It's not only love. There's definitely a partnership here between the two of you. So you two may work together. Um, you may work on something in particular together. There's a Pentacles coming to the surface, which is telling me this is not only about two people falling in love and you're building something together in the practical, in the physical. Um, Let's do the Page of Pentacles for the supportive energies. Knight of Pentacles, Four of Cups, the Fool. Regrets. You're, you're scared that you're going to have regrets here. That maybe you should have done this instead of that. Or maybe you shouldn't have done that instead of that. Or There's that sense of... 
almost regretting or feeling like you're gonna regret the fact that you took a chance here. No. This, ener this energy shouldn't be regretted, basically. It's taking a chance and it's an energy of the moment. What the consequences of that are, why should we regret that instead of taking it as a lesson? You know, um, you did what you felt. That's acknowledging what you felt. You know, um, there's no reason to regret anything about that. But there is here a, a slight trace of, oh, I hope I don't regret this. And that's, again, your fear talking, your fear saying, is this too good to be true? Blah, 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 blah. Um, let's do the Six of Wands in the Hidden Energy. Seven of Pentacles, the Judgment card, the Empress. Okay. Um, but there's something, there. it's quite interesting because on one hand, it's showing me a lot of love here. On the other hand, it's showing me this Pentacle situation, this material situation between the two of you. So I don't know if you are working together right now or you will because there's a decision being made here attached to this person of, I got an idea, let's work on something together. Or who knows, maybe you're already working, but it feels like really productive, you know, in, in many ways, in many aspects here. And it's making you feel good. Hmm. Let's do the strength card in the hopes and fears. Felix, what are you doing, boy? Man, you're a stubborn little cat. Not little, but... Uh, for the Strength card, you get the Wheel of Fortune, the Justice card, the Eight of Pentacles. It all comes back to that, those Pentacles. It all comes back to... The material, the practical. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. But it kind of takes you away from... Oh, I'm feeling this so intensely. But I can always go to that practical space, you know, that let's be logical about things space, which kind of shuts down the emotions here, which in turn tells me that maybe you're running away from these emotions at times when you're choosing that aspect. A lot of people distract themselves with work or who knows what to um, avoid what's going on inside of them emotionally. So there's kind of a flip here at times, like kind of thinking, well, again, under that fear of if this doesn't work out, at least I have something practical to come back to, you know? Hmm. Let's do the Queen of Cups in the potential outcome. Ace of Swords, Queen of Wands, the Lovers. Um, everything is perfect here in terms of love, passion, everything. Everything ties up in a very beautiful way in this situation. What I see here, a current, a very subtle current, is that of fear. That it'll shift into something else eventually, and it will. Of course it will. It's not going to stay like this. Energy moves. It doesn't have to be in the worst case scenario possible, moving in the worst case scenario. It doesn't have to be into, oh, this is gonna be lost, I'm gonna lose this. Unless you tell yourself it is going in that direction. For now, this energy is very subtle. It's not showing up on the surface, taking over, and for now the love and the passion and the experience itself is showing up, which is telling me that's what you're experiencing most. But underneath it all, there's this current. That's kind of catching speed, length, size, if you're if you don't attend it. And it's gonna take over, you know, if it's getting big enough. So be mindful of that. Uh let's see what the universe has. <clears throat> Knight of Swords, Five of Swords, Eight of Cups. You are wanting to move away from these self-sabotaging energies, from these self-deceptive energies, because you are recognizing them. You're like, yeah, I know they're there. They're in the back of my mind that I'm going to lose this and this and that. Who knows what can happen? 
Um, and you know that somehow those are sabotaging this situation you're dealing with currently. So I see you wanting to depart your self from this energy, kind of detach from it. It's, it's yours, it belongs to you now, but there's always that realization of it that, huh, yeah, I am doing that. Let me move away from that. Let me be truthful about what it is that I'm feeling. Let me not fill my head with who knows how many scenarios about who knows what out of my own fears, you know? So I see you wanting to do that step away from sabotaging even this whole situation so let's close it off with the oracle card from the animal dreaming oracle you get the wheel record keeper nice let's see what the wheel wants from you Where is it? Where are you at, Will? I gotcha. Gotcha. Um, Will wants you to rebirth your emotional body and to revive yourself physically by tapping into the knowledge of your own genetic memory and personal rhythm. In doing so, you will remember the sacred bond you share with all things and you will ultimately find the knowledge to heal yourself and your family. You may even glean inside into how the rest of humanity could follow suit. This is very interesting because it's kind of like a push towards not only you working on your ancestral wounds, but even showing humanity how to do that. Uh, and you do that, it's not like, oh yeah, I'll figure out the secret and I'll tell everybody. No, you doing it will kind of force, it's like energy, right? Whatever you're working on and it lifts you up or it shifts you in different ways. It's going to have the same kind of effect on the people around you. So that's how you can do it. That's a way to do it. Or of course you can tell it to the world <laughs> if you find out that secret, but it's, it's really cool, really interesting. And it keeps you in touch and balanced into the now, into this situation, even though it sends you back in time. Um, very cool contrast. And this, is my favorite animal ever the orca so that's what i have for you hope this helped and i'll see you next time bye